Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna go through the entire Daisy range from Marc Jacobs. There are a lot of different flankers from the original Daisy and there's been plenty of limited editions out over the years. Um, but the original Daisy is a really big bestseller and continues to just hit the sort of top five, top 10 biggest sellers all the time, spring, summer, autumn and winter. So Daisy Eau de Toilette was launched in 2007. And for me, the most interesting thing about Daisy is that there are actually no Daisy fragrant notes in here. So the name is a little bit misleading, I think. Um, but the main notes in here are actually violet. So violet leaf and violet flower. So it's really violet-y. If you like violets, it's definitely one for you. They've popped a little bit of musk in here, but predominantly it really just smells very fresh floral. There's gardenia in here and jasmine. Oh, and then when you first spray it, you do get some um, sort of lemony and a little bit of raspberry notes that are sort of very fresh and spring-like. And then afterwards it settles into that floral um, light smell. This is a very light perfume. I think it would be really good as someone's first fragrance, perhaps a young teenager. Even in the press releases about this perfume, they even say that it's made for millennials. So people born, I think it's after 1985. In, and all the girls in the adverts are all look about 21. So I think that this is definitely marketed at young people, though I'm sure people of all ages like it. Personally, I find it very inoffensive, quite um, almost a bit plain, a little bit boring, um, but I think that most people actually buy it for the bottle. People really want the really cute plastic daisy on their dressing table. It's a nice gift, it's substantial, it seems big because it's got this big daisy on it, and the marketing behind it has been really, really strong. I don't think you have to even be familiar with Marc Jacobs' like clothing brand to even be aware of this perfume sort of everyone has kind of seen it and the marketing is very very strong it's everywhere whenever they release a new version so i think that's more what sells it than the actual fragrance itself though i can't really imagine anyone hating this smell because it is so so inoffensive so the original fragrance is available in eau de parfum which comes in a black colored bottle i think that's one thing to watch out for people assume because it's the original that it must be an eau de parfum but actually they released this as an eau de toilette and didn't release an eau de parfum until much later and um, not everywhere does stock the black eau de parfum bottle so in 2011 they released daisy oh so fresh which as you would imagine is a kind of fresher version of the original though they have put a lot more sweeter and fruitier notes in here so it actually for me smells a bit more um, intense than the original rather than fresher so the violet fragrance has remained the core daisy smell with a little bit of musk but what they've done is they've added some green notes and then they've added more raspberry they've added lychee they've added lemon and they've added pear so you do get a bit of a sort of fruit cocktail feeling to this as well again it's super super light it's an eau de toilette as you would expect it is super fresh super light and perhaps nice if you've had daisy for a while it's a little bit of a change again really good for someone a younger person maybe 12 13 first proper perfume i think this would work really well so the next variation of Daisy came out in 2014 and that is Daisy Dream. This being in a blue bottle, they have put quite a lot of blue ingredients in here. So the main notes are like a blackberry and wisteria, so you think sort of purpley blue, you see where they're going with this. It's, I think it's supposed to be a little bit more sophisticated version of the original. I think this perhaps could be a little bit similar to Chanel Eau Tendre. Um, which is much more expensive, so a cheaper way of getting that type of fragrance. But effectively, it is Daisy again, but just with some slightly different notes in it. I think if you find Daisy too floral and weak, then this could be a better option for you. 
And then in 2014, they brought out an Eau de Parfum version of this, which I think is even better than the um, original because it is stronger. You really get the blackberry, there's pear in here. It's just nicer because it is an Eau de Parfum. It's probably going to last a little bit longer. The one thing to say about all these fragrances is that they are not long lasting perfumes. You're going to get three, four hours out of them max. Um, and I think the Eau de Parfums don't necessarily last longer, they just smell stronger during those three to four hours. So, in 2018, we got the new Daisy Love, which is quite a twist on the original. For me, this is kind of a separate fragrance and doesn't really have that much in common with original Daisy beyond the name and the branding and everything. It actually doesn't really have any of the same notes in it as Daisy and it's a much simpler fragrance so there are only four fragrance notes here. The main note is Cloudberry and then finally we actually do get a Daisy fragrance note in a Daisy fragrance. You've also got some musk and interestingly some driftwood so a little bit of a woodiness there. Cloudberry, obviously not something that most people are familiar with. I find it quite sweet smelling, um, almost like a juicy couture type fragrance, whereas Daisy is very fresh. Um, this has much more sweeter. But I think it just packs a little bit more of a punch than Daisy. It's a little bit nicer. Um, and personally, I wouldn't have called it Daisy, I would have called it a different name, just because it really doesn't have that much in common with original Daisy. So that's my rundown of all the different Daisy perfumes in the Daisy universe. I hope you found it useful. There will be various limited edition bottles and versions that come out over the years. In fact, they have literally just released a sunshine range, which is all the ones I've just mentioned, but in a sunshine bottle, and they do have very different fragrances fragrances in so I'll leave a link to that um, review down below because I will be posting that very soon but let me know if you wear any of these what you think of them I'd love to get your thoughts and what you think any of them remind you of any other perfumes but that's it so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon bye